This video explains and demonstrates a custom battery tray for the JPL open source rover for using 4 cell lithium polymer battery packs. This is not the battery uh, in recommended by the official open source rover specification, but some of us prefer these batteries. They're popular in remote control aircraft uh, and monster trucks, boats, things of those nature. Uh, see the forums for full explanation on why JPL chose the battery they did and uh, decide if you like these. For me, we had these on hand and it's more easily available. Uh, but since these are a different shape, we will need a different battery tray to hold these batteries in the rover. And while I was at it, I also wanted to solve another problem that I had with the rover, which is that every time I wanted to recharge the battery, I have to disassemble a panel to access the battery. So one, a tray for four cell lithium polymer battery, and two, make it externally accessible. The battery tray is 3D printed. The design is available on Thingiverse. Uh, there are hooks to keep the battery in place and the pattern lines up with the Actobatics aluminum pattern used on the rover. These three holes allow us to poke and nudge the battery as we need while it's inside the rover and these four holes use the heat set inserts that are in the rover instructions part I2, the 632nd heat set inserts. Behind the battery tray is a door that slides on and we'll soon demonstrate how it all comes together because now I will install this inside the rover. It may be difficult to see on camera because this is clear acrylic but there is a hole cut out of the standard JPL design to allow for this battery tray. The modified DXF is also available on Thingiverse. Now that the battery tray is installed we can install a battery. Door might be a little tight depending on your 3D printer settings. If it's kind of hard to get to, you can push from the bottom, pull from the top, get you a little more leverage to get going. And if your battery is doesn't live, leave enough of a lip to be conveniently gripped onto, you can use the holes at the bottom to give it a nudge. Or if you don't like doing that, get a segment of tape. and create yourself a little pull tab so that when the battery is inside you can pull on this to pull the battery out either way close the door and your rover is ready to go roving and we need to recharge it no disassembly needed open the door pull out the battery no tools required all right that is the demonstration of my custom battery tray using 4-cell lithium polymer battery as an alternate to the standard design of JPL Open Source Rover. Hopefully this video tells you enough to decide if you want this in your own open source rover. Happy rover building!